what got me out here in the first place is that ever since I was a little tot, I dreamt of coming to California. And uh, after I got out of the military, one of the fellows that I worked with in Korea had a construction company in the Central Valley, and he offered me a job in his office, and I took it. I uh, uh, chucked a good job at General Mills and their grain department, and went for, go for broke. I grew up in a small farm in uh, Midwestern or in the west central part of Minnesota. We out in the boonies, so this is the city of uh, California was a place of bright lights. How is California described? I mean, what what were your expectations about the state before you got here? I'm not quite sure, but when I came into California, I drove in through Needles, and this is California. And on the way up to Tanford, where the, my job was, got to Bakersfield with the Bakersfield Inn with the lights that spread almost half a block and say, hey, California. <laughs> that wasn't quite California. <laughs> but, it, was my, but it, it fed my Hollywood image of it. Well, yeah, I wouldn't think the Central Valley is everybody's notion of what California is like. But you, you came down from, uh, is it Fresno? Uh, you came down to Los Angeles. What what got you here ultimately? Oh, it got me down to Orange County ultimately. I, said yeah. I was working in Hanford for about three and a half years, and the uh, construction company I worked for got into financial difficulty, so there was no job. I next ended up in uh, Palm Springs working for an electrical contractor that I know from up north, and uh, that's where I learned what California really is more like. And I was single, and law degree sounded like more fun. Where'd you go to law school? I have two law degrees. The first one is UCLA, and the second one is uh, New York University in their Master's in Taxation program. So you have seen at least the country coming from a, a small farming town in Minnesota, then to Central Valley, then back to New York. Seen so much of it, yes, it's uh, been a real eye-opener. Say when I worked for General Mills, I saw much of the uh, Rocky Mountain area, and then the big lights of Los Angeles and visiting San Francisco, and then nine months living in Greenwich Village in New York was really an experience. You were also in Korea before coming out here, weren't you? I was in Korea for uh, 17 months, actually. I was in the army from 92 or from 1952 to 1954. Do you, do you think the army contributed? to your ability to be successful as a professional? Did it have a positive impact on your life? The Army was a tremendous experience, uh, extremely valuable, because it did get me out. And uh, perhaps you are right that that had an experience on me because I experienced more than Minnesota. When you, when you formed your own practice, did that seem like a better fit than being an attorney associated with a firm? Or, how did you react to it, and how did you move to an estate planning focus? The reason I went into estate planning was after I came back from New York with my master's in taxation, I realized that the tax area was so broad I couldn't do the whole, cover the whole area. And just at that time, they changed the laws so that as a novice in estate planning, I was about the same spot as those that have been doing it for 20 years. So that's why I narrowed it on that. And uh, there again, I think going out on my own is part of that restless spirit, the one the not working well under somebody else. When you got married, uh, your son uh, was a young boy at the time, and now he's involved or he's taken over the, the practice for you. How does his skills match up with what somebody needs just as yourself, the skills that you develop? Does he have them now or is he in transition? He enjoys his work. He's been in transition for about 10 years because he got out of law school in 91, which really surprised me because uh, I never thought he'd go into law school. And not only did he get his law degree, but he got his uh, master's in tax law from Loyola University, his JD's from Pepperdine. Uh, he's got the skills that fit in, but also, I don't know if he realizes it or not, I taught him how to handle clients, how to relate to them, the importance of a better product and all of those things. That's great. Uh, you're, you're retired now. How does that feel after 
in, in essence, even though you were helping people as a, an attorney, but you're still an entrepreneur in a sense. How is it like going from a business that you created yourself, got off the ground yourself, to retirement? What's that been like? I have the same problem an awful lot of my friends have that have been in, either in business for themselves or in a, a senior position with the company. You don't like it. I mean, you're used to having that as part of your whole life. And I spent the last three years searching for a replacement. 